Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're having a look at the HP C3000 blade enclosure with some uh, G7 blades installed in it. Here at CTO servers, we are specialists in HP and Dell blade servers. We offer generation 7, 8, 9, 10 blades for HP and the generation 11, 12, 13 and 14 for Dell. Any blade servers you require, give us a shout, we should be able to help you with any CTO configurations. So the C3000 is this box here. It's half the size of a C7000, which uh, is what most people have and get. Why this is special is because it's half the size of a C7000 and it takes up to eight blades, whereas a C7000 takes 16 blades. So if you have a space constraint in your rack, uh, this is a perfect solution to go for. These are full scalable solutions, so the blades can be integrated, uh, can be swapped out for G7s. You can have a few G9s running. As you can see the bottom, we've got a few, on another C3000 at the bottom, we've got a few G9 blades. Um, it's a very fantastic solution. You can run GPU blades in this as well. This particular blade system has been, uh, is for our customer who's going to be doing rendering and simulations. So in essence, he's got eight high performance render nodes or workstations each node is independent and it works by itself it can be clustered as well via software so the customer gets performance of eight high performance workstations in this chassis it's a very small chassis it's super quiet there's many benefits of having a blade system again these are fully scalable so if you would like to go for more performance these can be pulled out and you can upgrade the blades go to a newer generation it develops with your business it develops with your processes also with this blade system what are the other benefits so first of all it's the size you can pack so much power within this box i'd say it's the same size as uh, as two workstations but instead you've got eight workstations number two it's cheaper than buying eight high performance workstations this this customer has particularly chosen g7 blades as the price to performance ratio is is super and uh, again it's really cheap to purchase one of these especially from us we um, we are able to tailor to your budgets and uh, no budget is too small for us again you can even start off with one blade and keep adding them over time you can pull these out upgrade them number two efficiency so these eight work off a few power supplies in the back we'll show you the rear later on it's very efficient to run all these together also cost savings and all of them are considered number three the management so there's an onboard administrator which you can access via a web browser GUI it's very easy to use, deploy OS, configure these, set these up. It's really easy to manage all of these via one console. Also, if you get the right networking modules in the back, all these are interconnected via 10 GB. So data transfer between these are all 10 GB. In a rendering environment, uh, when, we're doing, when you're doing distributed rendering, 10 GB transfer between these blades is fantastic. Scenes are loaded quicker, scenes are shared quicker. So it's overall a fantastic solution. Again, space, um, if, if this is going to be hosted at a data center and you don't have much space and your rack, you're limited on rack space, the C3000 is the younger sibling, half the size, still packs a load of punch, eight blades. Again, you can add multiple, so G7 blades, AMD blades, you can integrate G9, G10 blades, that's not an issue. Um, just for comparison, I'll show you the C7000. This is the C7000. As you can see, it takes up more blades. It's, it's more bigger, but similar, just half the size is the C3000. I'll show you the rear. So guys, this is the rear of the C3000. Plenty of fans for airflow. Blades are always kept quite cool. As you can see, the C7000, uh, C3000 is only running off four power supplies, redundant. 
Uh, these are 1200 watts, so again, power efficiency. You're powering eight high performance workstations with only four 1200 watt power supplies. Um, you can assign IPs and give network to each blade from here. These are the switches on the back which connect directly to the blades. However, if you want to go one step ahead, you use these. You just give them one or two connections and you can virtually assign IPs to each blade and give them one connections as well as providing 10 GB interface between each blade. As you can see. And again, it's really easy to configure, really easy GUI to handle all the nodes. You can deploy OS, run simulations, everything remotely. You don't need to be physically with the server once you set it up. It's a fantastic solution are the blade systems. Again, we are specialists in HP and Dell blade systems. So if you have any requirements, any budgets, we're here, happy to tailor anything for you. We ship all over the world as well. So that's no, no task is too small for us. Thank you guys. Also, um, we are going to be uploading some more Blade System videos, the newer generations, particularly the Dell VRTX should be coming up soon. So drop a like, subscribe, any comments, please feel to ask us. Thank you.